subscribe to Best Bob Ever, and I'll bring you to Caleb Osborne. Hello, thanks for joining Walrus News. Now we're going to be covering a breaking news story that has been trending for the last two days. A tragic story has occurred in Cincinnati at a zoo where the zoo had to kill a beloved gorilla that was on the critically endangered species list due to a four-year-old child falling into the enclosed cage. So this is the exact text. The Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden family is in mourning today and trying to process the death of the 17-year-old gorilla Hammurabi. The gorilla was killed yesterday in order to save the life of a child who climbed through a public barrier at Gorilla World and dropped 15 feet into the exhibit smoke, which contained a foot of water. Quote, we are heartbreaking about losing him, Robbie, but Charles' life was in danger, and a quick decision had to be made by our dangerous animal response team, said Zoo Director Thane Maynard. Our first response was to call the gorillas out of the exhibit. The two females complied, but Robbie Rum didn't. It is important to note that with a child still in the exhibit, tranquilizing the 450 gorilla was not an option. Tranquilizers did do not take effect for several minutes and the child was in immediate in imminent, imminent danger. On top of that, the impact from the dark could agitate the animal and cause the situation to get much worse. Zoo staff and Cincinnati Fire Department were the first responders on the scene, according to CFD the incident report. The gorilla was violently dragging and throwing the child. Minutes later, the zoo's dangerous animal response team arrived and made the difficult decision to put the gorilla down to save the child. The response team includes full-time keepers, veterinarians, maintenance, zoo leadership, and security staff members. All are certified annually by the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office. The four-year-old boy was transported to the Children's Hospital Medical Center after being removed from the exhibit. The child was released from CHMC Saturday night. So that's what's going on at this time. Thanks for joining Loris News Now. Have a lovely day.